Who's a happy little pussy cat? Who's a happy little pussy cat? Who's gonna be disturbed in a second? Because I am going to start the generator. Yeah, that's okay, Daddy. That's okay. You gotta get used to that noise again. Okay, let's open the engine hatch. You might want to get out of the way. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going up on an elevator ride. You ding dong. There you go. Oh, just so everybody knows, little tiny is a he. He's a boy. He's a boy cat. He's not a she or a her. <laughs> He's a him. He is the little boy. Okay, you want me? Maybe move, 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 move. Not, no, 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 let's not go outside there. Okay, come here. Come on. Hey. Tiny. That's it. Yeah, come on. This way. There you go. You know it's down there. You've been down there before. Well, no, you've seen down there. You haven't been down there. Let's have a quick look down in the engine room because we haven't been down here in a couple of weeks. Neither me or little tiny have been down here. So just a quick look. You say, Paul, why is there water down in your bilge? There's water in the bilge because, I don't know if I mentioned to you not, but I think I did. There's a fitting over there, which is one of the scuppers that's running over the side, and it is water drips down there when it rains. We had quite a bit of rain earlier this week and it puddles and it comes this way. As well as, not that side, but this side, the rudder is uh, leaking. So I was hoping to pull that out and change the, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? Anyways, the rope that goes around there, but as you saw, we launched really early this year, <laughs> two weeks before I had anticipated, so I haven't got around to it. But I may just loosen that, loosen that, crank it down a little bit more and see if that works. Otherwise, it's going to stay like that until haul out. But everything else is looking spentabulous down here. I don't know if I ever told you, but I love this boat. <laughs> and I love these these big gasoline engines. No, we're not getting a diesel. He said out loud to somebody who had asked me that this week, this past week. Anyway, so uh, very quickly, we'll look. Um, much like starting the uh, air conditioners for the first time, Seacox, uh, that is port engine, starboard engine, generator, and they're all open and on. So we should be good to go. I don't see any water in the bowl, which is fine because that was all emptied out when we did uh, when I did the winterizing last year. So I should be good to start. I'm just going to go and have a quick close-up view of that generator. And then we'll fire it up, see what happens. Hopefully it starts right away. So the other thing I have to do is turn on the battery switch because the generator has its own dedicated... Where are you? Yeah, the generator has its own dedicated switch. Or dedicated battery I should say for reasons that should be obvious but if not I will explain to you just that if the house batteries or the engine start batteries die the whole idea is that uh, this battery for the generator to start it is isolated so hopefully it's not dead and if you need to start the generator to uh, run the uh, charger that will work and I'll be happy. Let's see if the kitty cat gets scared and runs away. He doesn't like the sound of the generator when it first starts. So anyways, I did my uh, checks. Everything looks good down there. Seacock's open and we're good to go. So um, I'm not going to run the blower right now simply because the engines haven't been running for almost two weeks on the boat and it's uh, no fumes or anything down there. So we should be good to start so let's see so I'm gonna start this 
and then run outside really quick and make sure the water is out of, uh, running out of the exhaust. Water, yeah. Anchor girl is reporting water. Lots of water. Okay, good. I'm going to close the hatch now. Stall down some of this noise. That's better. A little bit of. hiding in here. It's okay, silly. Okay, I'm going to shut off the air conditioner. Yeah, I'm just going to shut off the air conditioner because I'm going to shut down the power, shore power. That's off now. And then switch it over to the generator to put a load on it. So with the generator running for a few minutes, I'm going to shut off the shore power. There's nothing drawing right now. So that's off. Now slide it over to generator. Boom. Right up, 120-ish volts. Other side, boop. That's the charger just came on. The grid out of our storage container. It's a bit of a load. I don't want to run the generator, or sorry, the uh, microwave too long. You should never run it too long without anything in there. I don't feel like cooking anything. <laughs> so that's the first load test. Next one, I'm going to put on the uh, air conditioner. Oh, which gets back. Okay, I'm going to fire up the air conditioner again. Running off the generator. Cool. Air just clicked on. There we go. Should show an amperage draw. Yeah, so we're just about maybe about 12 amps drawing. I don't know if you can see that. That is the air conditioner running right now. And then the microwave is on that same one, so I'm just gonna for fun. That's running, so you see, oh, you can hear the generator. So the amperage just uh, jumped up to about 22, about 23 uh, amps. So 
that's uh, that's a good load that's a good test load of course I could start up the uh, the the burners on here but I don't want to make it too hot so yeah that's a good thing that's running uh, there's nothing really really big running on the other side which is fine we don't need that but it's good to see that it is running without choking and the little pussycat has survived the first start of the generator this year. <laughs> Always gets him a little anxious when he, we first start it up, when it first, first gets going. He knows when we're away and I put on the blower, he starts going, eh, eh. and then when I hit the start button, I go, boom, 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 boom. He gets a little bit nervous looking around, but once it's running, look at this. He gets all docile and happy because he's with his favorite daddy on the boat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn off the air conditioner now. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Okay, so I'll crank up the heat. And as I think I mentioned to you in the past, before I shut down the air conditioner system, I always, you know, adjust the heat so that the compressor isn't running, so that's not a hard start when we restart it. So I crank the temperature right up, and then I will shut this off. There, now this system is completely off. And we should show no amperage draw on the main AC panel. So when I say AC in the front, I'm talking about air conditioning and AC here being alternating current. So see again, the amperage is just dropped off to nothing. So there's no draw. So I'm going to shut off. There, see, voltage just dropped to nothing. That side, slide that back across and then I can go back to line power line being shore power input coming in so the generator is just running idling all by itself not producing any power it's producing power but we're not taking advantage of it let's put it that way generators running honey yes. that's a good thing it is it's an awesome thing one final final check for today the water flow should be 100 percent which it is i can hear it it sounds glorious beautiful uh, beautiful day Yep, so now that that is all happy, happy, I will just shut off the generator and it'll go brrrr. And rumble a bit so the kitty cat knows that it stopped. And it's silent once again. Awesome. <laughs> Beep. Oh. <laughs> Little tiny almost got wiped out by the uh, fridge door because Anchor Girl is being so nice and grabbing me a uh, ice cold Corona and a cooler for her too. So we can celebrate both. A cheers to that. A cheers to that. So we can celebrate both Friday night on the boat as well as the fact that the generator has started running. No issues. Fantastic. Love it. So we're good to go. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but while I was poking around down and looking at the generator, there's a blue line that doesn't look like it's a factory to that generator, which is not. It's a fuel line, which I replaced last summer because the shutoff valve it has like a little uh, ball valve had running into the generator and it was leaking. Don't know why I never touched it, but it was leaking just, you know, 25 years old. So I took that off and got a new custom made fuel line running up to it. And that is beautiful. Um, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, and the other thing was uh, the water pump. I don't think I ch uh, shared a video. I, I, I know I mentioned it last year that I changed the water pump on this boat or on the generator. That was first thing last year when we got it. Uh, I didn't share replacing that uh, water pump because I have a video also of the last boat. Similar generator, exact same water pump. So if you want to look at that in my How I Did It uh, series of videos. <laughs> how I did it videos inside joke anyway so yeah that's it for now I'm uh, glad we're both glad that we got the generator running and that is it for this one see you on the next one cheers